and hope he might be away. Hey, hey. Hi, sweetie. Almost got the gear good to go. Need an extra hand? Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Yeah, I know. Let's just play cool for now. Cool? Why? There's no point in antagonizing her. If she tries to keep me from doing this dive one more time, that's it. Gloves off. That's fair. Just don't force her hand. All right. I'm going to get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. Yo, little bro. Howdy. Huh. What am I looking at here? How's it hanging, sport? Man, still can't believe we actually found the plane. I honestly wasn't sure we would. Totally. I mean, what were we going on? A wing and a prayer? <laughs> and a little web surfing? Man, I really can't wait to see what you find down there. What do you think is down there? Based on the photos you took, I'd say it's a search and rescue plane, which is way cool. Don't know if there'll be much to find, but still, don't forget the camera. Pics or it didn't happen. Whatever we bring up, we'll go through it all together and you'll tell me what I got, okay? Dope. So when do you say dope? Since I realized it was like, tight. <laughs> Fresh. Welp. See you later. Sure. Thanks for checking in. I'm not sure Julia left anything on the mainland. It's only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. You know how to use that? Uh, no, not really. Might want to just let it do its thing. This doesn't look kosher. There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. Hey guys, tanks are ready.
Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way out. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Looking good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey, that's my sis you're talking about. You know it. Okay, you little clownfishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Looking for a first mate, Captain. You just don't give up, do you? Are those two going in or what? Look, I know the weight is interminable, but soon. I got the bang stick. Yeah, I heard that about you. Ha ha. You ever have to use one? All right, On kids. a shark? Nope. Good to go. Just remember the rules, please. Maybe we can fire it up again tonight for our private post dive special. <laughs> Are you gonna bring your bang stick? <laughs> that front cabin is gonna pop its portholes. This is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh and eager cabin boy. <laughs> Still a no. Your well-paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Pass. I have to stay focused on your friends down there. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? It's a long story. It's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan. You know, you're smarter than you look. If you're interested, maybe my family can make an investment in your business. I built this business from scratch. I took out a loan on my boat, and that's all the help I need. Thanks. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Weather looks clear. Mm. I'll have to keep an eye on those clouds. Uh oh. It's getting mighty crowded out here. Hi. Hey. You okay? Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there.
I hope they know what they're doing down there. Attitude matters 20 meters down. Alex plays the goof, but he was pretty serious about acing his diving certification. Are you close with your brother? <laughs> Known him my whole life. Julia's got Alex wrapped around her little finger. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. Brad, you okay? Yes. Wow, that is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. Hey there, how's it hanging? You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. So are you beached like a whale? Hey, I just thought, why spend all my time down in the dark when I already like what I see up top? <laughs> nice one. How long you been cooking that one up? All afternoon. Good use of your time. I like to make the most of it. Mm-hmm. I'll see you later. Hello again, little blip. What you doing all the way out here? We have unexpected guests. Stay quiet. I'll do the talking. Uh, what do you think they want? And maybe they're fishermen. I mean, maybe that's their buoy. I don't know. Just be on guard. What's that about? Fishing boat, from the looks of it. Hey, get out of here! What do you think you're doing? We got damage here, you see this? Look at our boat! We can take care of this, man, it's not a problem. What do you think, like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? 
Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it 20. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad. Really? On the rear turret. Huh. Good on ya, Connie. The turret. We can get in through there. first. Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> Let's not waste any time not exploring. Go, go, go. Oh. Not to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Maybe it is kind of dangerous. the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Good God. something. Wow. What the hell happened here? A little look at things. They knew they were goners. He's holding something. Hear that? Let's check it out.
pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. Brad told me that sometimes they would take a bomber and turn it into a search and rescue plane. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Something stupid down here? That's it. One chance. You get that? I know what I'm doing, okay? I don't need a lifeguard. This says it was a rescue plane. Launched from a U.S. base. They were on their way to help out a ship. Shark, not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. I thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't I guess. Oh, I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh huh. Julia, will you marry me? You're shitting me, right? What? <laughs> like there's a hidden camera down here or something? Uh... Okay, come on guys, the gig is up! Julia, I'm serious. Uh, Alex, I... I just... Ugh, it's, it's bad timing, I, I know. It's terrible timing. Uh, I'm sorry, it... This is so no, stupid, no, stop. I'm sorry. Please, don't, don't apologize. 
I, I just need time to think about this. Like, you know, like when I'm not about to die at the bottom of the ocean? Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Wait, Julia, we gotta decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there! Wait, we have to decompress! Damn it. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. Taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now go, go. Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. There was a little uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. So, why are you paying the ocean? A group of fishermen came by and damaged their boat. Well, they got caught on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. So then uh, Ambassador Conrad figured the best move is to show him he'd rather throw away his money than give it to them. You're an asshole. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane. And it is huge. Full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? Why? The dive line, actually. How bad? Uh, there's no cockpit anymore, for starters. God. Well, that's just fucking perfect. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. <sighs> if only she felt the same. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, Forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. How well preserved was the plane? Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. <laughs> no shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? Yeah, well, just one shark. Ah. Oh. Hey, one was enough. Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Can I ask you why you said no? I just thought it was the right thing to do. I don't understand. I, I thought everything was going so well. I know I should have a better answer for you, but that's just how I feel. Julia, I don't know what that means.
It was my gut reaction. I don't know. I should have explained myself better, but I didn't. Oh, God. What does this mean? Does this mean we're over? No, Alex, no. It's not over. But maybe when we get back, we should, you know, talk, get out. Like, for real. Damn it, Julia. Let's just have this trip together. Keep things the way they are. For now. For now? Until when? We should just try to have a good time while we're out here. Why ruin it? We don't want to just be miserable, right? I'm sorry. I can't deal with this. I need to find my brother. No, no. You stay here. I'll go get him. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no. I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. So, which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? On behalf of my family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. Ah, uh, it's okay. I can deal with children. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it.